from Philadelphia. I just got in and got settled into the hotel. Um, I'm staying at the Kimpton Monaco Hotel in Philadelphia, and it's actually right in the middle of this historic area. I believe the Liberty Bell is somewhere right around here. Maybe it's in that little glass thing over there. Um, but really, really cute area. I think this area is called Old City in Philadelphia. But basically, I'm here for the same reason that I was last time, which is for a charity yoga event with um, dogs. And because Frank and Wit, so Franklin and Whitman is the company um, that's hosting this charity event. And there's going to be yoga, there's usually lots of snacks, completely vegan snacks, and um, they're from all these fun brands that you probably know and love. So you'll see them later in our little goodie bag um, at the end of the event. But basically, we come a few days early and just hang out with Chris because he's one of my really good friends at this point. Um, so I just come to spend some time with him before the actual event itself, which is on Sunday. Um, but their whole, the philanthropy of the brand basically is that um, I think it's a portion of the sales always go to rescue dogs in need. And they think they specifically donate to the SBCA here the local one um, and yeah it's like it's an incredible incredible brand um, really an example of a kind company but uh, because that's sort of like their ethos and that's what they're all about these events are another great way to have like an in real life kind of connection and of course a hundred percent of the profits from these events that they throw go to dogs so um, it's a really really fun event all in all like how could I complain you know it's like a weekend of charity and yoga everything that I love and really really good vegan eats in Philadelphia so um, just just got in it's Friday night and so it's actually already like 5 p.m. but because it's now transitioning out of winter it's still bright outside um, but we're gonna head to dinner together like a group of us and then I think we're going to this place called PSN Co which I actually did go to last time I was here so you can see that in my previous vlog we went for brunch last time but um yeah, we're going for dinner today. I'm pretty excited, and that's kind of all that's on the list for today. I have a couple of other things I have to do tonight when we get back, like editing videos, responding to emails, all the things I let slide when I travel. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan for the rest of the day. I will show you guys the food that we eat for dinner. I don't know how much I'm gonna like vlog at the restaurant just because I feel like I get really nervous vlogging around people that I don't know as well. And Caitlin's not here this time, so it's only gonna be me vlogging as far as I know. So mostly likely you're gonna get a voiceover or just an explanation of what the food is and some food porn shots so um, yeah we're gonna walk over to dinner now so I will see you later tonight So just got back to the hotel, dinner was incredible. I love that the place is not only 100% vegan, but also gluten-free. I have a little bit of an intolerance to gluten. I don't feel great when I eat it, but I still do it sometimes. Um, however, if I can get vegan bread um, that's also gluten-free, which is hard to do by the way, because there's always eggs and things I find that are gluten-free, um, then I'm a happy girl. So dinner was really good. I had the tempeh bacon burger um, with a side of kale chips, and I'm actually just gonna bang out some work um, and then head to bed as soon as I can, because tomorrow is going to be oops I'm out of focus tomorrow's gonna be a really long day um, and then the next day is gonna be the big day so yeah I'm gonna try and rest up as much as I can get some stuff done and I'll see you guys tomorrow as you can see I made quite the mess and what's incredible is I actually got this um, pot of hot water yesterday um, and it's still like really hot today um, and has some incredible ingredients for keeping you extra hydrated so like electrolytes and things like that um, so I like to bring it with me when I travel just because you know travel throws your eating off a little bit you definitely eat you know not as clean as you would at home and things like that so really good to bring with you and the size is perfect that's rude here we are 
Good morning guys, happy Saturday. I'm about to go to bar class, which is the plan for today. We're gonna do bar class, have lunch at a pizza place that has amazing vegan pizza, apparently. It's called Porta, um, I'll show you guys later, but about to do a bar class with a whole group of um, bloggers here as well, and of course, the Frank and Wit team. So we're at bar three, and that's pretty much it. I had a matcha this morning. I didn't have time to have real breakfast, but I'm also not that hungry. Um, yet because last night I had some pretty incredible vegan food but it was pretty heavy too and not what I usually eat so still feeling a little full um, and I know we're about to have pizza as well so that was my morning I will see you guys after bar Yeah. 